Hey everybody, this is Ann from What's Up Homestead. I thought I would show you what I'm doing this morning. I am trying to transplant some of my seedlings. And I'm going to transplant them in these plastic cups. And just a tip, if you want to, I did all these in another stack like this and it was very simple. I just put my burner on high and took a metal skewer which you can see how black this one is though this is the what the one I use every time to poke holes in my cups and all I did was put them down like that I heated my skewer till it was hot and then I just poked holes and I put the I put it all the way down through all the layers of the cups and I did like five holes in each one you might have to heat them up a couple times because sometimes they won't go all the way through and then you'll you'll know to put it back on there and get it hot again but it's just a good tip because I did all these cups in just a few minutes poke the holes through there but I mean if you have like paper cups then you can just do them all that way that would be easy too I've done the paper cups but I ran out of those so I had a whole bunch of these so I thought I would use these this morning and these I've already done. These are my all-season cabbages. Some of them look like they were a little bit wilted. I'm hoping that they will do better, but these are all the cabbages that I have. And some of them didn't come up, so I'm probably going to do some more. I don't know if I'm too late, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm just going to keep filling them up. And these are the ones I'm transplanting now. Some of them didn't come up. Some of them had like a whole lot of cells that didn't. And I've got more lettuce, and I've got collards, and I've got onions. And there's the only one out of this whole cell that that did anything is this broccoli. So I'm gonna have to plant some more broccoli seeds soon. So I'm gonna try and get all these out, transplant them into the cups, and then I'll do the other ones. I'm using something new. It's called Pro Mix. It says Premium Organic Seed Starting Mix. I'm sawing a lot of blogs, people using that. I know Roots and Refuge do, and Jackie. I can't remember the site she's from, but she does a lot of gardening. She's a homesteader too. And I'm going to try this. I have been using this for a few years. The Jiffy Natural and Organic Seed Starting Mix. But I'm going to try this and see if it works. And this says it feeds for three months. So I just poured, I just got a little bit of fish emulsion in there with some water. And some of my plants are a little bit, a little bit sagging. So I'm going to put some of that in there maybe pep them up a little bit we'll see this is just a work in progress if it if I double what I did last year from seed then it'll be a win for me I just figure every year I'm gonna do a little bit better now I'm putting the pro mix in here and just wetting it because it doesn't really penetrate the water doesn't penetrate it if you just water it after you put them in there in your cups or whatever you're doing with them so I'm watering pouring the water in there with the dirt and stirring it around and then I'm putting it in my cups and then I'm using these little these are like popsicle sticks um they they they're good for a few a few months but I wouldn't depend on them for your whole gardening season because they'll fade and but I'm just going to use them for right now just to keep up because I have a, a hard time keeping up with what is what. Eventually when I get them out there in the garden, I don't know which one is what kind because I've got like two different collards, so I want to keep them straight this time. So I'm going to finish up. I think I'll leave my onions in there or maybe just put each one in one cup. And I'm going to do what Ben said from VW Family Farms and cut half of them off so they'll bulb. I don't know if I'm too late, but I'm gonna go to Lowe's and get some onions too, the short day onions for 7B, which is where I'm at. So 
I'm gonna try and get these in the ground. We've got more, and then I'm, I'm gonna put some sets and see what does the best. And I've got some long beds out in my garden and I'm gonna plant those, because I don't know why I usually, out of my garden, don't use a whole lot. Some of the stuff that I use or I plant, I don't use a whole lot in my kitchen. But I always have potatoes and onions in my house, but I don't plant a lot of them and I don't know why I didn't start because I use that more than anything. Lettuce is good, tomatoes are good, but I need to start planting more of the things I use. And I'm just like, why have you not been doing it before? But I guess because I haven't ever planted onions, so... I think it just is intimidating so we'll see how this works so okay I'm finished with everything but the onions and there's 28 in here and that's a lot those paper cups I had didn't uh, wouldn't hold that many so I think I'll stay with these little plastic cups and they're very inexpensive at Walmart and now I'm going to put the onions somewhere. I don't know what container. I don't think I want to put them in the white cups, but I'll try and find something. If I don't, I'll just put five or six in the cups. Or I might put them outside. Since they're small enough, I think that they will do okay. I'm not very experienced in onions, so I'm going to figure out what to do with those. I'm going to plant some peppers today. I'm just going to go ahead and do them in the cups so that way I don't have to worry about taking them out and transplanting them because it fits a whole lot so I'm going to try that. So I have some ancho chilies, some red mercury, California wonder, pimento, New Mexico number six, Cuban ale, I got not a pino, which on BW, BW Farms, they said that those were really good, so I'm going to try those. I'm excited to. Um, Marconi. I got two of the Chinese Giant Sweet. I got the Habanada, so the not a pino and the Habanada are, are not hot but they're supposed to taste like the pepper. So we will see. It's my first time planting them, so I hope I'll get a good crop because last year my peppers didn't do good at all. They got some kind of disease. This is the first time I've planted these. Shishito peppers. Heard those were good, so I bought some of those from M.I. Gardener. Uh, the Red Jersey Night, I found those at a place I found the plants, I planted them, and they were so good. They did really well. Couldn't find them the next couple years, and I bought the seeds. They're not as good as those plants that I found, but those were my favorite one year, and they did really good. So I'm gonna try it again. I got the Corno de Toro. Um, the Tam Jalapenos are the ones that are not supposed to be hot. They haven't really done good in my garden so I'm hoping the not a pina will do better but that's pretty much what I'm planning this year unless I see something else that I like but I'm hoping that the red jersey night and the sweet giants will do good this year so I'm going to start planting and filling my cups up and put the seeds in and I'll show you what everything looks like when I come back Okay, I'm going to show you how to put the holes in these plastic cups. I've just got this skewer, and I'm just putting it on there. And it, it was black, and now it's turned white, so that tells me that it's ready. So I just take my cups, and I just put it in the middle. And if you go all the way down, it will make the holes all the way down. Sometimes you have to give it a little bit of, make it, um, just have a little bit of force to put on there. But it, it should go through all the cups. And just keep doing it. And 
until it won't go through. But no more, and then you can just heat it back up. So that one went through two stacks. And you can see the holes. You can just put them anywhere in there. And that way you can just do them in a few seconds. Okay, I'm going to do the these two here, so I'm going to put it at a different angle so maybe you can see it a little bit better. Okay, I've heated up the skewer. I'm going to just put them all the way down into the cup. And just poke the hole in there. it is okay I got 29 so these are the ones I'm gonna plant there are one two three four five six Jersey Knights two Nada Pinos I've got six Chinese Giants I've got some from 2017 I didn't know that Rural King had old seeds so I have three from there and then two for 2019. I've got a, one Cubanelle, three Red Mercuries, one New Mexico Chili, two Habanadas, two California Wonders, a Poblano, the Coronada de Toro, two of the Shishito Peppers, those are new, so I'm going to try those. I've never had them before. And three, did I say red mercury? And one of the Cuban, oh no, two Cuban ales. So I don't eat a lot of peppers, really. The only reason why I'm growing them is for some green. I use some green. I've got a bunch still in the freezer, but I love red pepper jelly. So I'm hoping to get some because my pepper, they were just awful last year. They got that bad some kind of disease and it was just terrible but and usually I don't have any disease on my pepper so I'm going to try one more time and if I find some more different peppers that I like I might I might get some and I'm trying just to use all mine up because I've got a bunch I've been keeping them in here and I'll keep them in individual baggies that way if some spills out I'll I'll know what they are because I've had that where I'll put them somewhere and they'll just, all these seeds will collect at the bottom and you don't know what they are. And I keep mine like separate. I have peppers in here. And the melons here. Squash, zucchini, pumpkins, watermelon. And cucumbers and okra. Green beans in this one. Herbs in this one, which I gotta take that out because I need to plant some cilantro. And this one looks, is all my tomato plants, which some of those are not in bags, but I'm not going to be planting those yet, but. And these are the ones that I've already grown. I have, that I have outside. Uh, those are the ones that I'm getting ready to plant in the garden. I'm planting collards, Georgia collards and Bates collards. Kale, I like the dinosaur kale. Broccoli, I have the. Really, I've just got the Dollar Tree broccoli, and it hasn't been germinating, so I ordered some from Mary Seeds, I think it was. They had 99 cent sale, so I'm hoping to get that and print some more of that. Beets I have in trays, and I'm going to transplant out tomorrow, I think, and lots of lettuce, different kinds of lettuce. I'll try to go through... If I have time and show you what, what varieties I have and what I planted. And so that should be good for now because everything else I'm just waiting to plant. I can't plant my tomato plants yet. So I guess I'll get in here and get some, some of my herbs going because they can take cool, cool weather. So so another tip, like on these trays, I don't buy the ones like in a kit. 
at Walmart. They're kind of expensive. They're $5. But you can get these individual ones usually at Ace Hardware for really cheap. And you don't have that little thing on there for very long. The top plastic. So I just put, I just tape plastic wrap to the top. I just cover it with two pieces and just tape it on there until they start sprouting and then you can take that off. And then they, they do have these little trays too for cheap too. So just stock up on those. That's what I did. And I have a stack of these, these trays. And now you can just use those with the cups and you don't even need the little cells. So that's what I do. It just saves, saves you some money. So I'm going to put these covered in. I'm not going to put light on them. You don't need the light until they sprout. So I'm just going to put them in there on a heat mat till they start sprouting and then I'm going to take this off and then I'll put them under the lights. I made two trays out of these because it did fit 28 even 29 but they didn't really stand up straight so I want them to drink the water from the bottom and just be more stable so I'm making two trays instead of trying to fit them all on one tray. And I want to show you some other seeds that I got new that I haven't tried yet. So VW Family Farms grew this last year, this lemon squash. So I'm going to try it. It looked cute. And I got this free, I think, this basil because I am not a big fan of basil. I don't know why. I think it tastes like medicine. And I like the smell of it. I'll grow some of it probably, but I don't really use it. And this dar cucumber it looked pretty cool so I'm gonna try that in the garden this year and um, tomato totally tomato I've got this one it's supposed to do good in heat and it's very hot here so I thought I would try that and I think they just threw this in a hot pepper because we don't usually eat a whole lot of hot peppers so I might plant one of those but I don't know I don't want to plant something and waste the space and I don't really use it. I'm going to cover this one up with plastic and put it on a heat mat and get it started also. So that's what we're doing today. Tomorrow we'll set um, the other ones outside. I, this is all I have time to do today. So tomorrow I will try to shoot a video of putting the other plants in the ground. The ones that, are, that I have outside, um, the cabbages, um, I think it's all season cabbage, and the calabrese broccoli, some of the little gem lettuce, vates collards, Georgia collards, arugula, let's see what else, Brussels sprouts, which I don't know if that'll work out anyway for me, but I'm going to throw some in the ground and see, sorry. We're outside on the road. And this is more of the same thing I have over there, but this is more mature. It's the lettuce and the collards. And this is what I'm going to try and set out tomorrow. The lettuces look way better than the collards do, but that's why I'm trying to grow some more collards to get them out there. These are the collards. They're not as good. They're not as big as the lettuce, but hopefully I can get them in the ground and they'll perk up a little bit. And I'll cover them with a row cover since it's still sometimes in the 20s here in North Carolina. And then here's some more starts. There's salad bowl lettuce. That's, I think that is the COS lettuce. It's supposed to be like romaine. More onions, some more broccoli, kale, bib lettuce, some more cabbages, sweet crunch lettuce. Oh, sorry, that's butter crunch. Hopefully I can get these in the ground tomorrow under the row cover so they can get growing a little bit better. Okay, now I have them both covered in plastic. This one not quite all the way, but it'll be fine. Then I've got them on this heating mat. It's a, it's a large one, so it'll cover both of them together. And I have the other ones outside, but this is what I'm using for my seeds. I just have two shop lights on each level. I haven't got them for down here, but you don't need them yet. 
and I'm either gonna get some more shop lights or keep and keep them doubled up or just use the other ones I might just use those and just put them on each shelf and I have my canning lids up here on a little bungee cord so and then I've got up here just some storage it works out pretty good that way I can keep everything together on this one shelf and I've got a this from Amazon basics that I can plug in everything into one and all I really need is a timer I bought a timer but of course it didn't have the other prong so I can use that for something else and I might get another one or I might just keep turning the lights on and off myself but come back with me tomorrow and I'll plant some of my other plants and we'll check on the seedlings my other plants outside so here's the bottom and here are the ones in the cups and that's one I didn't show you that's some beets that I'm going to plant outside tomorrow with the others that are going outside and these will stay in there for just a little while longer I don't have anything up, the t up at the top yet and I've got a fan I need a probably a bigger fan but I just take turns moving it around and it's blowing on the little plants to keep them sturdy so this is my setup and I hope it helps you to get some ideas I think it cost me like $40 to get this little metal shelving and it helps to have the all those plugins for everything because it seems like I have so many. I have two. I've got two of the heat pads on there, but I don't really use them after they've started growing since they're cool weather crops. So I've just got the ones at the bottom on the warming pad. But as soon as I start, my peppers down there start coming up, I'm going to keep the heat on those because the peppers need all the warmth they can get.